Hello everybody, I'm Eminent Storm here, and welcome back to Crusader Kings 2 After the End. In the last episode, we kind of just got through the regency of our new ruler, High Fabricator Adela, until she came of age, so pretty much just kind of managing things for a little bit. Um, we had a Ursuline uh, Great Holy War, no, or Crusade, sorry, um, for Michigan that just kind of, um, you know, wore itself out and then the Pope of the Catholics declared the seventh Catholic Crusade for Chicago land um, which is gonna go the same way the last six did which is nowhere so we're just gonna build up the war score until we can enforce the demands there um, most likely the Knights of Columbus are probably gonna show up again but my vassals can probably deal with them, or um, we can raise an army if we have to, to knock them down a bit. Now, the other thing that we were working on was, because we are a new ruler, we can now declare a new Great Holy War for another large chunk of territory. And we're trying to decide what we were going to do. Um, if I was going to go after the Holy Columbia Confederacy, or if I was going to go after someone, say, like Iowa, um, because their large, imposing letters are an affront to my glory. And what I've decided on is that what we really need to do um, is to reduce the strength of the Christian defensive Pact. Um, which could be by taking out Iowa. Could be by taking... Well, I'm not going to be taking out any of these guys. Um, but, right now, the Holy Colombian Confederacy is not in it. They are vulnerable. And ripe for the picking. So that is who we're going to go after next. It might get a little messy because of the way the Confederacy is breaking up at the moment. Um, with the uh, ecumenical church as kind of its own separate entity. Um, well, Duke Ponce of Seminole, Duchy of Seminole. So the, that Duke is independent. Interesting, somehow you managed to break away. So, let's see, what do we want to do? Does your kingdoms, we have Dixieland, which would be the largest chunk. Or I can go out to Florida. See, I'm not sure I can actually declare a holy war for Florida. Uh, let's see. I want to declare a war. Great holy war for Cuba, great holy war for Florida. For Dixieland. Yeah, it's not going to include the revolt. Should I wait for the revolt to be done? Maybe I should wait for the revolt to end. Uh, what's the... How's the revolt progressing? 0% war score. Is the revolt in a defensive pact? The revolt is not in a defensive pact. Could I go to war with the revolt? Go to war with the revolt. That would be interesting. You. We're threatening. We're at 20.3%. Elixir's a confederate revolt. It's a council power revolt. Okay, so that won't break anything up. Dejour kingdoms, Dejour duchies. I could probably grab See if I declared war in the revolt What is this? Savannah? I declare war to grab that Elixir is currently revolting against his liege. If that conflict ends, our war will end too. The forces of the liege and any other revolters will be hostile to our armies. Nearby evangelical rulers must join. 
conquest. Wait a minute, the council's saying no? Actually, let's just unpause it. Let's let's get things rolling here. Um, I spent too much time pausing in the beginning. Um, let's just see how this uh, rebellion advances, because I would like to get as much of the territory as I can if I'm going to declare this great holy war. Which, with the revolt interfering with that, we're going to try and hold off. All right. So, what can I do in the meantime? I am not at peace, so I can't do the Grand Tournament or hold a Salvas Expedition. I can use my study. The cook has prepared a fine meal, but the priest preached about temperance. I would say temperance. Didn't get it. Your vassal, Governor Edward of New England, is concerned about his non-inheriting sons. I can't give out titles. Alright, let's see. Let's go to the castle town. Let's build that. Barony of Hilltop. Castle town. And Richwood. Uh, let's get the barracks built. I'm surely with child. Alright, we're pregnant again. Army of Frederick. Oligarch Lawrence of Pentacook has usurped the title. Okay, not worried about that. My brother Gelbin is requesting approval to travel with the four merchants. Yes, take these gifts with you. During the last few days, my husband, High Engineer Elwood, has not been able to keep any drink or food down. It seems if he is suffering from food poisoning. Can I seek treatment for my husband? Nope, looks like it's up to him to get treatment for his own illness. No epidemics. Yeah, I'm pretty much figuring that the epidemic mechanic just doesn't work in either this version of the mod or from this save file. My claim to my titles, Prince Gelbin is hiring men. Dude! You wanted to go off on your own? I gave you some money to help, and now you're coming back to try to take some titles from me? Ooh. Can I... No, he will not come to court. Well, we'll plot to kill him. Let's see what we can do here. Anybody else interested in killing my brother? Oh, nice. Okay, so... Send a gift to you. Send a gift to you. Send a gift to you. Tycoonship of Hudsonia. Okay. Didn't I send you a gift? Um, actually, this is probably fine. Um, 
Don't want to invite too many people. That tends to get messy. Because uh, people tend to talk. Alright, Hudsonia came back. Port Huron. Who's his liege? Me. Okay, can I transfer vassalage? Transfer neighboring counts. Yep, do it. Lake Courtier. Recleave uh, the pre calamity mechanical calculator. Oh, did we get it? Yes, we got it. See, shouldn't, shouldn't this be... It might not work with vice royalties, this mod. The son was born high paper creator Adela and high engineer Elwood of the new American Empire named Elwood. Okay, let's see. Adirondack. You will become vice vo viceroy of Hudsonia. I mean, this is Appalachian. Uh. All right, and. You will be Viceroy of Columbia. There we go. How goes the revolt? Twenty-two percent in favor of Emperor Ret of the Holy Columbia. Okay. My co-conspirator, Courtney, has procured a poisonous viper and sends word that it will soon dig its fangs into Prince Gelbin. Very good. Oh, we have an open council position. We need a chancellor. You are a terrible chancellor. We'll use Governor Hudson. Send you to improve diplomatic relations. Roger of Washtenaw, Peasant Revolt. It's a clear to Peasant Revolt on us. Peasants have risen up. Right, let's hand out a commander and then we'll go see what these peasants are up to. Where are they? Over here, six, uh, no, 5,000 peasants, that's it? I can raise up 10,000 troops right here. We'll let them build up some, uh, some morale, and then we'll march them in. Prince Gilbert managed to evade the snake, and the guards caught the serpent as it tried to slither, slither away. The seller was identified and has revealed my complicity. Well, he really doesn't like me. Well, the lowest opinion of... Opinion Vassal in my court is 34 in the positive. Once control of the Enterprise of Brooklyn. Leader of the Gothamite Revolt. I don't care about the leader of the revolt. Look at all these 100s. Wow. People really like her. Victory. Oh. Somebody wiped out that army. Very good. All for peace and force demands. You go in... To the Obliette. Speaking of my dungeon. 
I got lots of prisoners. Anybody make me some money if I banish them or ransom them? Ten gold. Uh, Twenty-six gold. Oh, we finished our study. One hundred and forty-five gold. Yeah, I'll take that. Six gold. All right. Let's know that Gilbert Simon will die by poisoned wine. We will see if that works this time. Ten gold. Oops. Success. Very good. So that should. <laughs> so, yep, that got rid of the adventure threat. And my backstabbing traitorous brother. The Columbian Confederacy's, Confederacy's revolt is over. Perfect. Now is the time to strike. Declare war. Great holy war for Dixieland. Though my council are still being silly. The only one that is in favor of me is my chief diviner. Okay, so... Let me go to my council. Request council support. No. Transfer neighboring counties. Superior. Iron Mountain. Yep, transfer them. Will you give me council support? Yes, you will. Transfer neighboring counts. Yep, we'll go with that. I uh, request council support. You will say no. Press council support. He will say yes. Transfer neighboring vassals. Request council support. He will say yes. Press council support. He will say no. All right. So let's let those guys sort out. Wait a minute, what happened here? Really? Hudsonia? We gotta figure out, we gotta clean that up. We gotta clean a lot of this up. Alright, so I should be able to declare this war now. I hope. That should be enough council support. Declare war. Great Holy War for Dixieland. Yes, it in fact is. So we will send that. For Father Bessemer. Raise my army. Nope, they were not in the defensive pact. So, it is just them. How many troops do they have? Didn't even look. 31,000. Okay, that's not terrible. How many troops can I raise? I can raise 16,000 of my own. And I can raise 100,000 troops from my vassals. I don't need anywhere near that many. But 
But we'll go to Ohio. We've got 10,000 men. We'll go with Chicago land. Uh, who's got the most total strength? Allegheny and Hudsonia. That should be sufficient. Alright, so you guys. Let's march them down there. Get these guys down here. I'm just going to march these guys over here. We'll use them in conjunction with our personal levy for any troops that decide to come over here. Alright, 16,000 troops. Uh, they're trying to siege that down. So you guys over here. I'm gonna bring you guys. Hold on. 14,000, 31,000. Yep, yeah, I'll bring you guys here. Mission to Toronto has been a success. Good. There's 12,000. There's 17,000. Vice Reed Rebecca, the second of Upland, has given me bizarre repulsive evidence of Governor Edward of New England. No, oh, I'll keep that information myself. I have no reason to embarrass the man. Twenty-two, twenty-two. I got ten thousand. Right, we'll move you guys there. We'll move. Oh no! We'll move you here. We'll move you there. That's the bulk of their army. Let's just move you here. Let's move these guys here. Engaged. Everybody, pile in. I was defeated. Nope, I was not defeated. We have achieved victory. Okay. Well, that that was that was a bit messy. Okay. Um, but we got thirty thousand. Let's get our territory back. these guys just assault it down please there we go well we may actually need to bring some more troops into this uh, let's uh, let's have these guys split in half let's send these guys there let's send these guys here Actually, you guys go there. Let's 
Special minor titles grantable. We need a couple of new commanders. All right, who can we raise up that has some good, good strength? Michigan does. Carolina does. That sounds good. Michigan, get marching down here. Carolina, come over here. Don't want to use the retinue, but I will if I have to. I'd like to have you guys march in here. Who are you? Enterprise of Alpena? Wants to marry my son. No. Reinforcements, get in there. Resume the rest of the pitiful state of my daughter, Princess Gabriella. I have just been informed that the cause of her aches and pains is a case of the flu. Is there any way that I can... I do have a court physician, do I not? No, I do not have a court physician. Well now, that's no good. Can I not get a court physician in here? Seduced with courtiers. Or secluded with courtiers. Secluded with courtiers. Hi, Fabric Caradilla has inherited Tycoon Ship of Carolina from Tycoon Armstrong the Hunter. Get my retinue in there. We need a new viceroy. You will do well. There we go. Combat is the best teacher. Hyper Gardella has become more proficient commander. I have gained the trait skilled tactician. Are we actually fighting in battle? Get us out of battle. Whoa. I need an advisor. You. This battle, it looks like. The Antimonian Heresy has appeared. Good. Or no, not good. Alright. You guys can actually get out of there. Uh, you guys merge up and then split. You can just swing all the way around there and... Victory, victory, good. Uh, Evangelical Army... Ecumenical Church again. You guys sieging there. 
suspicious of my pregnancy. He is here right now asking me if my child really is his. Join war. Please accept my offer to join in the Seventh Catholic Crusade of Chicago Land. Indeed, you can join. Oh, you guys again. Oh, man. Can I get this siege off? Ah. We're going to lose this battle. You guys retreat. All right. You guys march to Atlanta. You guys march to Atlanta. We're going to crush your army again. Here's your education in the ways of faith and learning. This pleases me. Your steward comes to see you one afternoon. He explains that he has devised a plan to bring exotic goods by setting up a trade route with a foreign realm. This would, of course, require a sizable monetary investment, but the potential profits will be also be great. Let's organize an expedition. We're going to buy the merchant ship. Uh, let's see. We'll do that. Ooh, that is iffy. Alright, we're heading out on our expedition. Aw, oh, man. You gotta be kidding me. You guys are gonna lose? Uh, let's see. Your expedition has finally reached the realm of King Malaki. Uh, we'll bring him a dozen tough warriors. Foreign Dignitary is arrived to court. I wish to relay his lord's assurances of friendship and peace with you. He beckons to a servant who presents you with a rather exotic plant. Does not look like much, but denying the gesture would be an insane insult. I gratefully accept your lord's most gracious gift. Archery expert. Whether you're splitting arrows on a wooden target or bringing down a deer with a well placed shot, few people can match your skill at archery. You can knock and loose an arrow from a powerful longbow in seconds, demonstrating the proper technique to your soldiers as you strike a target with pinpoint accuracy. It's difficult not to boast about your archery prowess. I'm the best in the realm. I only know that I know nothing. Let's get proud. Uh, let's see, at dinner, you notice King Malachi, the holy face growing red with annoyance, declares your steward shoveling his food in with his bare hands. Please excuse him, I am still trying to teach this barbarian civilized manners. I will intervene with my charm and soothe the debaters. Okay, so we got a religious debate going on. Alright, there's one other thing I could do. Hire in my holy order. You spend more time talking to King Malachi of the Holy. You realize you have a lot more in common than mere business interests. Become friends. Where is my holy order? There it is. Get down here. New trade route set up. Return with the first batch of goods and sell them off for a nice profit. The influx of new wares will also benefit the economy for a long period of time. We gained 500 gold. We had a son. We will reward our steward for the uh, successful business trip. We'll arrive August 5th. Arrive August 3rd, so we will get out of there. Alright, you guys get over here, you guys merge up.
You have taken it upon yourself to take care of such a precious gift and plant it in the least traveled part of your garden. It leaves the start of the wilt. Perhaps it needs more water. All right, let's get in there. Let's get in there. Get their army beaten again. One children lack childhood focus. Gabriella, my daughter. We'll go give her thrift. She is six. I'm going to educate her. Myself. Now my retinue is going to take a little bit of a beating, but we should be able to afford it. I didn't credit it when my maid claimed to have heard that Richard can't sleep because he's constantly thinking of me, but now all my friends are saying it too. It will never happen. The man in black. You meet a man dressed in all in black with a mysterious smile. He says, I hear you fancy yourself quite the archer. I happen to be an archer too. I'd bet a bow of gold against your soul. So I think I'm better than you. I'm the best there's ever been. Sounds like a bad deal. I'm the best there's ever been. Defeat. Oh. You and the man in black fire arrows at wooden targets placed at various distances. When he loses an arrow, his bowstring seems to hiss and sizzle in addition to the normal twang. Leaving behind a curl of pungent smoke. The man in black wasn't lying about his skill, and he leaves tight clusters near the bullseye. Several of your shots are off the mark, and when the scores are totaled, you realize what despair you have lost. The man in black grins as you can see defeat and hands you the piece of parchment you signed. I'll be back to collect my winnings when the time comes. Curse my arrogance! All right, we captured that guy. I lost the Faustian contest. All right, so you guys march over here. Fortunately, the plant seems to be unfit to grow in these lands as withered and died. Curses. Salt that down. All right, can you get over there? Vice Rain Rebecca the Second of Upland is providing me with proof. Has been viciously slandering me. I'm not worried about it. I have no reason. Everybody says her favorite toy is missing. Making fussy. Offer to purchase a new toy was rejected. She's upset. I would even suggest such a thing. Please report the missing. Majority of the population has been converted to the Rust Cultist faith. Perfect. Okay, so you. You go proselytizing somewhere else. Go proselytizing here. There have been a shortage of soldiers. Good. Taking me quite a bit longer than I thought it would. Equipment, your late courtier Georgiana, bequeathed a pre calamity mechanical calculator to you. I think I already had one. Victory. Good. New commander. 
Oh man, we are really long on this episode. I'm going to have to actually end it here. Um, and we will finish up this great holy war when we come back. It's been a little bit of a rough one, but uh, we're all right. Uh, we've been able to you know, beat back their army. I lost a couple of battles, but no big deal. Okay, so, hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment, and I will see you next time.